Are we on? Oh, come on, Carls. Ah, we're on. We're my goodness. On. It's like those, it's like those, you know, how they, it's like those, those, those comedy shows where like the, 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 the newscast is fixing themselves and the camera's on. Well, MP Live. Hey, everybody. Good morning. It's, yeah, we're too excited. Yeah, it's, it's 11 5 because Carla was fixing her makeup. Wow. Look at her. Thank you, Lonnie. You think I'm going to opera singer, very modern, contemporary. Anyway, welcome to the uh, lobby at the theater of Soler. Obviously, it's here because I need to come out. Tapos libre. Andre next staff ng Soler. Thank you very much. Thank you to Soler and Hi Tech. <laughs> and uh, also, uh, this is a neutral ground because, as you know, this is a competition amongst theater and dance companies. And since Soler doesn't produce uh, theater. Yet, this is a good place to at least be neutral ground. Yeah, no? So there is not part of Phil stage That's yet. So the little bit of We assume everybody knows us. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mark Bingona. <laughs> this is Audi Mora and I'm Carly Gutierrez. Yes, uh, and uh, we welcome you to the um, announcement of the 10th Gawat Buhay nominations. Courtesy of Theater France Manila Live on FB, Frida. Thank you. Thank you always. This is the second year that you're covering this. So, without further ado. Imagine, Audie, huh? we're 10 years already. Oh man, parang where did time go, right? <laughs> Nakakatawa, Carla, kasi kahapon, kagabi, I was watching the preview of uh, Repertory's uh, Silent Sky. And there mga theater people done hovering and hovering. And they were like, so, uh, the announcement will be tomorrow. I'm like, I'm not saying anything. You're gonna have to wait. Yes, they know. They know. So I hope you're all watching all the theater peeps and all the fans of theater. We love this community. And so, with that. Oh, na, can you talk hmm. about something about film stage? Oh, ito no. Ito yung, kasi may notes ako. Kasi sa dami nating members, pag nakakalimutan ng isa, nagagalit. So, uh, let's, let's read who they are. Come on. Okay, let's go to the first slide. If uh, I'm going sa mga. There you go. Carls, you might want to stand here and let's go through the members. Para sa hindi nakakaalam, until now, actually, 10th anniversary ng Gawad Buhay, which is the awards. It's like the Tony Awards of the Philippines, right? But Phil Stage as an organization is, is an umbrella organization of all the top professional theater and dance companies. Kasi parati nagtatanong iba, bakit hindi kasali, like say, the Fantastic UP, um, you know, um, or, or, or other collegiate, uh, you know, uh, productions. And, uh, well, Phil Stage is really uh, a coalition of the professional theater companies because our main aim is to be able to forward the industry. In other words, we pay people, it's professional. Uh, so, pag may mga productions that involve students and all of that, um, they're not, they don't really qualify. Now, what qualifies you to be part of Phil Stage is you should have at least produced three productions or should have been around for at least three years because we want a long-term commitment to this um, and so our members for over these years um, have proven themselves there are seasons when some companies are not as active as others and that's fine as long as they've had a long roster or you know a long record already producing and come uh, again season season weather weather Okay, so let's just go through uh, every uh, group so that everybody is, uh, is represented here. So uh, First, I would like to give credit to our president, Aoni <laughs> Mora, for preparing this PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> and then Carlos, our treasurer. <laughs> okay, so our members now in his repertory Philippines, of course. Uh, these are the oldest repertory and PETA, who uh, these two companies uh, celebrated their 15th anniversary last year at the last Gawad. Um, Artist Artist Inc., um, headed by Bart Kingona. Um, Trumpets, of course, the company I represent. Uh, Nine Works Theatricals, um, Red Turnip, of course, it was Carla, Philippine Opera Company. Stages, Cantimpala Theater Foundation. Ito dati, uh, they were known as uh, Musikat. Uh, they were even known as, um, a little, uh, well, I forgot the original name, kasi mapalipalit sila, but now this is really it because they've gone into movies as well, as you've seen with Larawan. Uh, 
Kultertain Musica Productions, headed by, of course, uh, Celeste Gaspin GR, um, Gurley Rodis. And then, of course, we've got the very, very uh, prestigious ballet companies, um, which includes Ballet Philippines of Lisa Makuha, Ballet, uh, Ballet Manila, rather, and then Ballet Philippines. Uh, we're very happy that Alice Reyes is back as an artistic director. Um, and we're happy to say they're going to be very active. And then we've got the Philippine Ballet Theater headed by uh, Tita Julie Borromeo. Uh, so there you go. Those are our members. And then there are new members who are going to be signing up this year. Yes. For those of you don't, who don't know, we start from January to December. So what happens is we have an independent jury headed by Gibbs Cadiz and all these really dedicated uh, writers who come from uh, the academe, from uh, their bloggers, some of their bloggers. Um, some are uh, reviewers, talaga. So um, it, it's an independent jury. We have no control over their choices, but they do go around and they make sure that they watch every single production. And if there are alternates, they watch, they watch. as well. So they're so dedicated. So gusto namin magpasalamat sa lahat ng mga jury. Thank you so much for your dedication, and they do this pro bono. Yeah, passion. Diba? All we do is feed them when they have deliberations four times a year them to like really you know like I'm not gonna say sky flakes <laughs> no but well, let's level up. thank you so much guys I mean we love you um, thank you for for really um, for taking time yeah, taking time yeah. and, and really considering the, the work that our colleagues put in because we really do put in a lot of work and we put up Kawad Buhay just to be able to tell our peers good work guys so with that, we're just and talking. Of course, for our the other people to be recognized. Absolutely. And let's say already, we have we have everything. We have um, ballet, we have opera, we have theater, yes. and uh, of course, meron din like ano rin jana film. Correct, mentioned it. So anyway, without further ado, we move into the nominations. I know, I know you're all waiting for it, um, and we begin with the design awards. Okay. And first up is uh, Carla, you might want to read this. Okay, for Outstanding Sound Design. Yes. Okay, we have Jethro Joaquin for Agnes of God Repertory Philippines. Again, Jethro Joaquin, Blackbird, TNT AAI. And then we have Jaime Godinez and Rards Corpus for Newsies, Nine Words Theatrical. Rards Corpus again for Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Full, Full House. House, Resorts World, Manila. Ang TNT pala stands for the Necessary Theater, which is under Actors and Actors Inc. Okay, we move on to the next category, which is <clears throat> Outstanding Lighting Design. Headed by John Battaglia, Agnes of God for Repertory Philippines. Catch Katoy, In the Next Room or by Breaker Play by Repertory Philippines. Dennis Marasigan, um, Ang pag-uusig ng halang Pilipino, he directed it and he lit it also. Multi-talented talaga to si Dennis. Then John Mataya again for Hair, Repertory Philippines, and Catch the Toy again. This time for Ballet, The Nutcracker by Ballet Philippines. Okay, now let's go to the outstanding set design. Joey Mendoza for Agnes of God, Repertory Philippines. Just a little tidbit, you know, see Joey Mendoza is has been based in New York all these years. He was a former repertory Philippines uh, actor, and then he moved to New York. But we're so happy that because he's been designing there, so we're so happy that now he's, he, he designed. He designs a lot of the shows here, so we're so happy, Joey. Kahit tungo sa New York, eh, na baul lahat ng kami ng yung talent. And then, and then course, we have Mio Infante for the in the next room or vibrator play repertory Philippines. Joey Mendoza again for Blackbird, TNT, AAI, and Om David, Ang Pag-uusig Ang Halang Pilipino, and Salvador Bernal for Nutcracker Ballet Philippines. Yeah, this is a posthumous uh, nomination. Now, just so that you're wondering how does that happen, <clears throat> it's been agreed on by the jury that if there is a, a production that hasn't been considered for a kawat yet, and it's the first time that it's been nominated. Kahit yung um, na design or sumulat at wala pang history disqualified. So apparently, uh, Nutcracker, this version by Valley Philippines, uh, is being considered for the first time in the history of Kawat. 
and uh, of course Salvador Bernal uh, is qualified. Just comes to show you your art can outlive you. Yes. Okay. Outstanding costume design. Bonsai Cello in the next room or the vibrator play at Repertory Philippines. Eric Peneda, UC's Nine Works Theatricals. James Reyes, Aurelio Sedicioso, Anghalan Filipino. Bonsai Cello again. Chidi Chidi Bang Bang, Full House, Resorts World Manila. And again, Salvador Bernal, The Nutcracker by Dale Philippines. Okay, again, let's invite our theater community to go on Facebook. We're on live now. Yes. So. Okay, so that takes care of the design uh, awards. We move on now to the creative awards. Ang ibig sabihin ng creative awards is the people who, who, who write stuff, direct stuff, choreograph stuff. I mean, sila yon. These are the artistic minds behind the productions. Hindi nakikita on stage. But the most important, because it's their vision that's being shown here. Without them. Wala. Wale. <laughs> okay. Outstanding script. Alam mo kung bakit wala? Kasi wala. <laughs> Move on to the no next slide. Sige nga, walang nominations. Yeah, walang nominations for Outstanding Original. I don't know if that means there wasn't any written or maybe the jury just deemed that uh, nothing original really struck them as special or outstanding. So um, keep writing, keep writing, and you'll be considered next year. Susunod na category, Outstanding Translation or Adaptation. And we've got Gelan Loarca, Yuridice, Tangala Pilipino. I was part of the show, I really love this show. But it was so short. I got to perform only six times. This is the most bitin show in my whole history, I swear. But it's beautiful. Jerry Respeto, Ang Pag-Uusig Beautiful Show, Tangala Pilipino. Alan Ginoga, Ang Buhay ni Galileo Peta. This is a repeat of something that they did many, many years ago. Na revived siya. And, and you know what's so special about this? Peta went back to, to um, Fort Santiago, where they really began. Um, and it was, a, it was a nice homecoming uh, to go back to uh, Raja Sulaiman. Wonderful. And to our viewers naman, who is not really into theater, come on, as in, ano kayo as in, it's fun to be. Plug, plug, go, go, plug. Okay. Yeah, plug, plug, we have a Perfect. lot of shows going okay. on. Okay, now we go on to, um, we talked about plays, we're now going to talk about Outstanding Original Libretto. Um, and we already have a winner. Pag ganito, winner na. So yung isang category, wala. Ngayon, may winner na tayo. Jamie Katanyag sa tagu taguan Peta. Jamie's a wonderful actress herself, uh, but she's a great writer. So young. Winner? Winner na siya. Winner na siya. So, punta ka na lang, Jamie. Hanggapin mo ang award mo. Look and, beautiful that night. And of course, our trophy is designed by... Uh, Reg Yuson. Yes. Wonderful artist, Reg Yuson. Thank you, Reg. Uh, Reg told me that for the 10th anniversary, he's going to design something special. Oh, I'm excited to see it. Okay. <laughs> okay, now for the outstanding original musical composition. Of course, we have Von de Guzman for Manila sa mga kuko ng liwanag, the yes. musical by Gantimpala. Yes, Von, that music is all yours. Yours. <laughs> Diva de Leon, Ibong Adarna, Bale Manila. And then Peta Music Pool under Rutgardo Labad, Ang Buhay ni Galileo. Peta. Interesting that they have a pool of, of music writers though. Okay, next category. We now move to Outstanding Musical Direction. Daniel Bartolome, UC's Nine Works Theatrical. Diwa de Leon, Ibong Adarna, Ballet Manila. EJ Yatko, Hair, Repertory Philippines. And Rodel Colemar, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Rodel Colmenar. Colmenar, oh, sorry, my spelling. Uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Full House Resorts World, Manila. Ganda no, kasi may mga bata at mga ano na talaga. Established. Established. Okay, careful okay, yeah. of your adjectives. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I get into trouble for this. Okay, now for outstanding choreography for a play or musical. We have PJ Rebolida mm -hmm. for Newsies, yeah. Nine Words Theatrical. 
and Nancy Crow for Chitty Chitty Bang Bang Full House Resorts World Manila. Wonderful. I love it that the real dancers are, are doing really, really well for our productions. Okay. Outstanding stage direction ang susunod. Ayan. And those nominated are Mark Ingona, Agnes of God, Repertory Philippines. Chris Meliado in the next room or the vibrator play, Repertory Philippines. Dennis Marasigan, Ang Pag-uusik ng Halong Pilipino. Topper Fabregas, Blackbird, The Necessary Theater, Artist Artist Inc. Roddy Vera, Ang Buhay ni Galileo, Peta. Hindi, ano? Hindi ng line up. Okay, next category. Okay, now for the outstanding direction for musical, we have Robbie Guevara for New Seas Nine Works Theatrical. Jaime Del Mundo, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Full House Resorts World Manila. Awesome. Dalawa lang sila. Okay, oh, pagpapaka kayong dalawa dyan. <laughs> Love you guys. Yeah, I was just with Jaime. Yes, and we move on now to the dance categories. Okay, beginning with outstanding choreography for a dance production naman as opposed to a play or a musical. Gerardo Francisco, Ivo Adarna, Ballet Manila. Lisa Hoxon, Your Highness, Ballet Philippines. Bam Damian III, Minamahal Sinasamba from Aguila Celebration Ballet Philippines. Edna Vida, Alice Reyes, and Adam Sage, The Nutcracker Ballet Philippines. And Hener Taringal, Ang Sultan from the Exemplars Amada and Other Dances Ballet Philippines. And then we have the Outstanding Ensemble Performance for Modern Dance. We have Ibu Alarna, Ballet Manila, Visions of Fire from Gala Celebration of Ballet Philippines, Ang Sultan from the Exemplars Amada and Other Dances Ballet Philippines, Songs of a Wayfarer from the Exemplars Amada and Other Dances, Dances, Ballet, Philippines. Right. Now we move on to the performance categories for dance. Female featured performance in modern dance, Abigail Olveiro Ibong Adarna, Ballet, Manila. Catherine San Miguel, Minamahal Sinasamba from Egela Celebration, Ballet, Philippines. And Sara Alejandro Amada, from the Exemplars Amada and Other Dancers Ballet Philippines. And now we go to the male featured performance in modern dance. We have Mark Sumailo, Ibong Adarna, Ballet Manila. Rudolf Capong Paul, Ibong Adarna, Ballet Manila. Romeo Peralta, Ibong Adarna, Ballet Manila. El Pidio Magat, Ibong Adarna, Ballet Manila. Wow, it's all Ballet Manila. Pinakyao! Pinakyao ni Lisa Mokuma. Next. Female lead performance in modern dance. Walang nomination. Kaya. Siguro wala lang uh, female-centric title character no? or, or lead character in any of these dances. Okay. We move on to the male lead performance in modern dance. Rudy de Dios. Ibong Adarna, Ballet Manila. Anselmo Dictado, Ibong Adarna, Ballet Manila. Victor Maguad, Moon from Aguila Celebration, Ballet Philippines. Eugene Obilie, Ang Sultan from the Exemplars Amada and Other Dances, Ballet Philippines. Ronald Sonyadao, Songs of the Wayfarer from the Exemplars Amada and Other Dances, Ballet Philippines. for Outstanding Modern Dance Production. So, mga, mga nominees for this. This is the production already. Mm -hmm. We have Ibong Adarna, Ballet Manila. A Gala Celebration, Ballet Philippines. Your Highness, Ballet Philippines. Ang Sultan from the Exemplars, Amada, and Other Dances, Ballet Philippines. Songs of a Wayfarer from the Exemplars, Amada, and Other Dances, Ballet Philippines. Only, di ba, ang, ang ballet ngayon very important for this year because 
Oh, yes. Should we say? <laughs> anyway, sakana. Okay. Classical dance, we move on to the classical dance category. Now, just to make a distinction for those who are not very familiar, uh, there are two types. Eh? Yung classical tala yung, yung when, you, when you're dancing on, not necessarily all the time dancing on points, but it's, it's got the vocabulary, it's really the classical dancing, um, traditional. Um, oh, I hope I'm not putting myself in a spot here. I got Kakaylee sa mabuha. Lisa and Alice would be like, what is he talking about? Okay. And then, as I said, modern dance is, is obviously, it's really, Exploring new uh, avenues of movement. I better start okay, over. I ahead. wouldn't say anything about it. Okay. Say it. <laughs> All right. So, outstanding ensemble performance for classical dance includes Don Quixote Ballet Manila, Swan Lake Ballet Philippines, the Nutcracker Ballet Philippines. Yeah, these are the traditional ballets. Next. And then we have the female featured performance in classical dance. We have Abigail Oliveiro, Don Quixote, Ballet Manila. Veronica Atienza, La Bayadim, mm -hmm. Ballet Philippines. Uh, PPT, uh, PPT, Philippine Ballet Theater, sorry. And Stephanie Cabral, Nutcracker, Ballet Philippines. Yes. Oh, well, that's it, I represent that, don't you? Yes, all three ballet companies. Male featured performance in classical dance. Victor Maguad, Grandpa Classique from a gala celebration ballet Philippines, Peter San Juan La Valladir, Philippine Ballet Theater, Gerardo Francisco Swan Lake Ballet Manila, Victor Maguad, wow, second nomination, The Nutcracker Ballet Philippines. Okay, okay now, female lead performance in classical dance. We have Denise Parungao, Swan Lake Ballet Philippines, Kim Abrogena, La Bayadir, Philippine Ballet Theater, Denise Parungao again for The Nutcracker Ballet Philippines, Jemima Reyes, Jemima. Oh, Jemima Reyes, The Nutcracker Ballet Philippines, Catherine Bartman, Swan Lake Ballet Manila. And we move on to the male lead performance in classical dance, Victor Maguad, Swan Lake Ballet Philippines, Victor Maguad, The Nutcracker Ballet Philippines, and Elpidio Magat, Snow White Ballet Manila. And now we go to the outstanding classical dance production. We have Don Quixote Ballet Manila, Swan Lake Ballet Philippines, The Nutcracker Ballet Philippines. Good job, dance world. And with that, we move to theater. Begin with the outstanding ensemble performance for a play. Vanya and Sonia and Masha and Spike Repertory Philippines, Agnes of God Repertory Philippines, In the Next Room or Vibrator Play Repertory Philippines, Ang Pag-uusig Ang Halang Pilipino, Ang Buhay ni Galileo Opeta. Now you might wonder what is an ensemble performance? That means that um, when there are several characters in a production and uh, they are so vital. Um, in, in, the, um, in the rolling out of the story, and each character is almost the same in terms of, of presence and, and uh, you know, moving the story forward, and that, that's what you mean by an ensemble, rather than just be heavy on one leading character. You've got several characters that are exposed, and that's sometimes, uh, that's why we created this category, so that we could honor those people who work off each other very, very well. Are we good? Okay, so we pick up, I mean, that's live, that's live, theater fans, Manila live, and uh, a statement of our, ano, our internet here in the Philippines, na po putol And yung mga ngayon pa lang nakakapanood. Okay, okay lang, pick up from where we left off, that's live for you. Ay, it's kawat buhay eh. <laughs> buhay na buhay. <clears throat> okay, female feature performer in a play, Rebecca Coates. Agnes of God Repertory Philippines, Kaisa Borromeo in the Next Room or the Vibrator Play Repertory Philippines, Tami Monsor in the Next Room or Vibrator Play Repertory Philippines, Antoinette Go ang Pag-uusik Tanghalang Pilipino, Lorby Nuevo ang Pag-uusik Tanghalang Pilipino. I love all these girls. Yeah, and ang ganda talaga tingnan o adina yung mga... So very. Yeah, I mean young and... 
and uh, established. Established. Tayo uh, established tayo, huh? Okay. Male featured performance in a play. We have Marco Viana, ang pag-uusig tanghalang Pilipino. Jonathan Tadioan, ang pag-uusig tanghalang Pilipino. Joshua Taiko, ang pag-uusig tanghalang Pilipino. I'm so proud of these guys. And Boji Pascua, ang buhay ni Galileo Peta. Love Boji. Noel Comia Jr., ang buhay ni Galileo Peta. So now it's between Tanghal and Pilipino and Peta. Noel is a kid, by the way. The year I was nominated for um, Best Actor for uh, Lakash, he, he was up yeah, against me. Up. Fantastic, no? Triple threat. Yeah. Okay, female lead performance in a play. Rosalind Perez, Espana and Sonia and Masha and Spike Repertory Philippines. Men Chula, Chenko Yulo, Agnes of God, Repertory Philippines. Janina Ocampo, The Next Room or Vibrator Play, Repertory Philippines. Mickey Bradshaw Volante, Blackbird, The Necessary Theater, AAI, and Blanche Buya, Lukot Lukot, Bilog Bilog, Tanghalang Pilipino. Excited about this category. We'll see. Um, when's the gawad? April 12th. April 12th, 8 p.m., the Little Theater at CCP. We hope to see you there. Okay, we move on to? Mainly performance in a play. We have Michael Williams, Vanya and Sonia and Masha, and Spike Repertory Philippines, Joshua Spafford in the next room or Vibrator play, Repertory Philippines. It was a camp comeback of Joshua Spafford. Yeah, Joshua's been gone. He was uh, based out in the States. And now he's in Negros. He lives there now. Yeah. He's a, farm, a gentleman farmer. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then we have JV Ebesate, ang pag-uusig tanghalang Pilipino. Carlo Vizcarra, you'll be very happy. Bart Gingona, Blackbird, TNTAI. Joel Lamangan, Ang Buhay Ni Galileo, Peta. It's just so wonderful that Joel is back. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. yes. And very active nowadays. Outstanding production of existing material for a play. Banya and Sonia and Masha and Spike, Repertory Philippines. Agnes of God, Repertory Philippines. In the Next Room, or Vibrator Play, Repertory Philippines. And Ang Buhay Ni Galileo, Peta. Okay. So we have a winner. We have a time winner. Outstanding play, original or translation adaptation. Pag-uusig ng halang Pilipino. So, did you see it? No. Ah, it's okay. awesome. 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 Congratulations, ng halang Pilipino. Punta na lang kayo, tanggapin niyo yung award niyo. Be so excited to see actors company there. Alright. And it's going to be very memorable because it's our 10th Man, year. Man, guys, come on, let's celebrate, all right. And then for outstanding production for children, again, no nomination. But kaya. Okay. Outstanding ensemble performance for a musical, moving on. Newsies, Nine Works Theatricals. Yay. You know what, I'm so impressed about this production because they made dancers into actors. And they made actors into dancers. Yeah, that's a feat. workshop. Yes, yes. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Full House, Resorts World, Manila. Oh, again, another exciting category. For the female featured performance in a musical, we have Sheila Valderrama Martinez, Maynila sa mga kuko ng liwanag, the musical. Katimpala Theater Foundation. Aisel Santos, Maynila sa mga kuko ng liwanag, the musical. GTF. Upeng Galongo Fernandez, A Game of Trolls. Peta. Joel Bukat, Tagutaguan. Peta. Maron Cruz, Hair. Repertory Philippines. Okay, male featured performance in a musical. Jeff Flores, New Seas, Nine Works Theatricals. Boy to siya. Actor to na pumunta sa theater for the first time, and of course he he burned the stage with his uh, with his um, craziness, and that's what makes an um, an actor unpredictable. And Baron, I hope he does more and all. Absolutely, yeah. Baron Kaiser, Aurelio Sedicioso, Tanghalang Pilipino, Floyd Tena, 
Maynila sa maupon ng liwanag ng musical GTF, Roy Kalilong, Agutaguan, Peta, and Rev Atendero, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Full House Resorts World, Manila. This guy is hilarious. Okay. I'm happy for Baron Geisler. Yes. I want to see him more in ano, fully in a musical. Yeah. Okay, for a female lead performance in a musical, no nomination. Hindi ka kasi, hindi ka kasi gumanap eh. Kaya wala eh. Ah, okay. Wala ka kasi. Wala ka kasi. Okay, dahil wala kang binasa, ikaw na magpasalik. Oh, you can't be there. <laughs> May lead performance in a musical. Gian Magtangal. UC's Nine Words Theatrical. Armand Ferrer, Maynila sa mga hukod ng liwanag ng musical GTF. Yay! David Ezra, Aurelio Sedicioso, Tanghalang Pilipino. I love these guys. Mark is strong. Hair, Repertory Philippines. George Schultz, Hair, Repertory Philippines. Oh, mga bagas! So good, yeah. See, ang hirap ng ginagawa ng jury kasi, you know, uh, just to, there's nobody who, uh, if you're active in theater or dance, you can't in any way be part of the jury kasi you, you'll be biased eh. eh ito, um, it's, it's category nito, kung mahal mo lahat ng mga uh, nominees, paano na lang. Ito. Mahirap maging, ano, maging jury. Super, super dumb. Okay, outstanding musical, original, or translation adaptation. Sino kaya? Naku, wala. Wala rin. Okay. I guess that's it. <laughs> so, short and simple. I was surprised. By the way, before we invite you, um, meron pang isang dalong category, uh, rather isang category that we, we hold dear and special. And this is what we call the Natatanging Gawad. Um, it is given to uh, an outstanding, a well-known personality from dance and theater who has practically contributed a, a whole lifetime to our industry and you know past winners have been Ryan Kayapyag for example, Amelia Bonifacio, Donofre Paksangha, Tita Fides, Tita Fides for Opera, of course Alice Reyes, Tita Celia, Tita Joy, Tita Baby, Tita Bibot, uh, Soxy Tabasho last year, Tony Mabesa, natin for these wonderful people, Tony Mabesa, Tony Espejo, I mean the list goes on and we are just so fortunate to to um, have these people in our lives, so one, one, one point or another, we rushed, um, you know, next to them. So uh, I'm we are really excited. Yes, we have two awardees this year, which we are going to announce soon. One for dance, and uh, one for theater. And with that, theater peeps, theater fans, Manila, uh, we invite you to the 10th Kawat Buhay by Phil Stage. It's going to be at April 12th. Thursday, 8 p.m. at the Little Theater of the Cultural Center of the Philippines. So? But first of all, I mean, we have to congratulate all the nominees and may winners na Meron na, pero of course we don't know. It's a it's secret. No, only Gibbs Cadiz knows. So if, if you really want to know, you, you, you need to kidnap him and, and hold him hostage or something until he tells you. <laughs> But you know, I have to say about Gibbs, you know, see Gibbs yan during the awards night, I mean, son, babantayan niya yung mga trophies. That's how secretive everything is. Nobody can come close to the trophies because it's written eh. But uh, Red Shoes one is so, so fantastic because the trophy, the, the names are underneath. So hindi mo makagita pag naman. He's such a security guard. He is. He's a yeah. good job, Gibbs. But anyway, once again, congratulations everybody. And you know, it's not to say that those who were not nominated did not do good work. Because they did, and, and, and we just want to congratulate everybody and encourage you to just keep um, doing what we love the most, which is theater and dance and performing arts. So congratulations, everybody. I'll see you. We'll see you. And thank you to... Of course, Frida. Thank you for Theater Fans Manila. Thank you, Soler. All right. See you guys. See April 12th, Thursday, 8 p.m. Little Theater, CCP. Yes! Thank you, ah. Salamat, guys. <laughs>